What's going on everybody? Almost Counts Collectibles here and we're going to be doing a quick Pokemon card collection opening video. Now we just got these in the mail. We just opened it up. They came in a, a large envelope. Um, as you can see in the background here, there are some binder sleeves, card holder sleeves that they took out of their binder. Um, they didn't include the binder because that would have been additional shipping, I'm sure. Um, but they gave me the holders, and it looks like they just wrapped them up in bubble wrap. Now, I wasn't aware when I bought the collection what was going to be included in any of these. The only actual thing that I knew I was getting for sure was this right here. And this is an original mint condition. Um, the case is scratched up, but the card is in mint condition. It's an original Japanese Charizard card, which we needed for our collection. So that's why I bought it. I think I got this whole collection for like um, $40, I believe it was. Um, they mentioned that this would include uh, rare holographic cards um, from some of the original sets of the American sets. So I went ahead and bought it uh, mainly just for this card right here. They also included separately, um, I got a holographic Japanese Erica's Venusaur. I got a Japanese holographic Dark Blastoise. And I got a Japanese holographic Dark Charizard. Now we also needed Charizard for our Japanese um, Team Rocket set. So that worked out well. So we're going to go ahead and open up the actual um, sealed collection back here and see what's all in here. Right off the bat, I can see some um, original holographic jungle cards, although most of these are the error version, and we'll take a closer look uh, when I open them up, but they don't have the jungle emblem, which is also really cool because I want to get the entire jungle set that was uh, the errors without the actual jungle emblem. And this is going to help me um, get close to completing it, although I'm sure I'm still going to be short unless there's more of these in here that I don't see. So I'm going to let my little buddy here help me out. He's going to uh, hold the camera right here for me while I go ahead and open this up. So we're going to try to open it up without damaging anything. Oh, we got some cool cards I can see here on the back. Looks like we got some promo cards. We've got some Gym Hero Gym Challenge. Hopefully we get some good stuff in here. I see a flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu. Is that the... I wonder if that's one of the newer ones. Or if that's an original. Wasn't it, what, Evolutions that they had the flying Pikachu in? I don't know. Alright, let's slide these out. Oh, we got cards everywhere. Alright, I'm going to grab these cards that have slid out of the packaging. Alright, we've got some original promo cards here. Some Wizards of the Coast. we got Ms. Drevious. Uh, what do we got here? So we've got a holographic pincer. Uh, error card. I think there's two of these actually if I'm not mistaken. I think there's another one I saw in the front Unless that was one of them uh, What do we got a smurgle? Oh, here we go. Here's another one holographic These look to be in pretty decent shape. Um, I see a little scratch or two on some of them, but overall not bad not bad at all I'll go ahead and set that one aside right there I'm going to grab these. All right, let's see. Did they tape this together too? Oh, yep. All right, they really taped this stuff together. not going to save these <clears throat> sleeves here so I don't really care if there's tape all over them but I just don't want to bend any cards so we're gonna go ahead and remove this tape so we can flip through all these okay I'm gonna take these out of the back because they're already falling out Oh, we got another pocket monster. A um, little dinged up, pretty bent, but we have a Gym Heroes, I believe. We've got a Misty Trainer card. We've got a Base Set 2 non-holographic pincer. 
we have a Dark Gyarados. We have a Clefia. Alright, it looks like most of these for the most part are just doubled up. I don't see any triples, so we're just going to go ahead and look at all of them in there. I'll take them out in a little bit. So on page one here, we have a Jungle Non-Hollow Kangaskhan. We've got a Cahoga's uh, Pidgeotto. We've got a Jungle Non-Holographic Vaporeon. We've got a Flying Pikachu, that is from the Evolutions. We've got some Japanese uh, cards here. We've got a uh, Clefairy Doll. Um, we've got a rare non-hollow Pidgeot. Uh, let's see. As you can see, we've got some jungles. Jolteon, Flareon non-hollows, a Ditto, Fossil. Uh, ooh, that's a foreign card. I'm not sure if that's French or German, but that is a uh, Pidgeotto. Um, foreign cards, Snorlax. Um, let's see here. Anything from the original sets? Let me fix those. Uh, we got a Dark Dragon Knight. We got a Bee Drill. Team Rockets Meowth promo. Haunter Fossil. Even got a Dark Marowak there. Electabuzz base set two. Dark Weezing Dragonair. We got a promo Mew card. So all these are non-hollows. I'm just trying to see if there's anything super rare or anything in here. Pidgeotto non-hollow. Uh, promo Pikachu. We even got a Sizor there. Luxray. Typhlosion. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Arcanine promo. Togepi. Got a lot of the promos. Uh, we've got an Electrode here. That's from the Legendary Collection. What else we got? Got a Graveler there. Got a Rayquaza. Uh, let's see. That's a pretty cool Tyrantar. It's holographic. These are holographic, by the way. Tauros, Porygon Z. Uh, we've got an Alakazam, nice, non-hollow, first edition Zubat. We've got a holographic Japanese Dark Weezing. We've got a, so this is the card, I'm pretty sure that they remade for the Evolutions, but this is the original um, Japanese version of that card. Sky Armory. Holographic Salamence. Uh, base set Japanese. Although in Japanese, I'm pretty sure it's not referred to as base set. But we got a Nido King up here. Got some hollows. Holographic Golem. Polyhorl. Got a holographic Venusaur up here. Aerodactyl, Electabuzz, it's a holographic Electabuzz, holographic Gyarados, Promo Sky Armory, alright, and here are the jungles, so we ended up getting, let's see here, ooh, we got a base set Blastoise, um, Non-Jungle Electrode, Non-Jungle Snorlax, Mr. Mime, uh, Victory Bell, already got Pinsir, we've got an Umbreon and a Gyarados here in front, and that's pretty much going to be it, so not bad, not bad at all, especially uh, considering that we also got these other cards that I mainly bought the collection for, which is right here, our Japanese original Charizard, 
Dark Charizard, Blastoise, The Jungles. Pretty decent little collection, I must say. I'm pretty happy with that. I just thought I'd make a quick video about it before we uh, organize them and put them in their um, holders. So that's what we got. Nothing crazy rare, but uh, we did get a lot of vintage cards in here. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff. And uh, we're going to be making some more content for you guys. And until next time, I will see you next video.